Laura Brown here. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Alrighty, so what do I have for you today? Oh, let me see. I do want to talk about field creation a little bit more, okay? Uh, now, I know I, I literally just put out a video on uh, how to create fields the fast and easy way, right? And was I wrong? It is definitely fast and easy. And like I said, once you get started with that script and the info layer and getting your fields down that way, you'll never look back. You know, mapping will never be the same again for you, okay? All right, but as you guys progress and you go along and you're getting better at mapping and you're getting into different projects and you're trying uh, bigger and better things and, and, you're, and you're feeling adventuresome, <laughs> right? You want to experiment, uh, you're bound to run into some problems. Now, I know right about now you're like slamming on the brakes. Woo, Bauer, what are you talking about? You never said anything about problems. What kind of problems are we talking about? All right, so let me give you a little bit of a scenario here, okay? And now these are some things that I've come across in the past and I, and I learned how to work around them. And I just want to show them to you up front, okay? So you know what to expect and uh, you can work around them when the time comes for you. All right, so you can see here that I am not on my normal test map, okay? Uh, I am on a uh, on a new mod from game, right? And this is a replica of the Elm Creek map, right? The U.S. map. That's what we're looking at right here. All right, so uh, like I said, this is just a scenario. So, for example, let's say that I wanted to I wanted to take this Elm Creek map, right? And I am going to do an edit of this map now. When I do this edit, all these fields here, I want to keep all of the existing fields, okay? So let me go up. I got 82 fields there, right? So let's go up to fields here. I'm going to go up to scripts map, and then I'm going to render my fields, okay? So let's see what I have. All right, that looks good. All right, so I can use every one of those fields. I don't want to do anything different with those fields. I want to keep them just where they're at, and I'm going to utilize them. Uh, exactly how they are all right now the only thing is that these fields down here i'm not really going to add any more fields per se i'm just going to utilize these fields right so i think it's a waste of not a waste of space but kind of i want to use them as a field they have an interesting shape and why not you know they're not doing anything else back there except you know trying to look pretty <laughs> all right so how do we go about this now i just taught you the new script right the field dimensions for with bitmap all right, so let me show you a few things with this. Let me get my uh, my map turned off here, my my field areas. All right, turn that back off. Okay, so your first inclination would be, well, one, you can do things the giant's way, okay? Because that's the way they did all those other fields were done the giant's way. And looking at these fields right here, no way, Jose. I'm not about to do that. You know, just... I would rather just leave them sit there and look pretty than to try to attempt to do those the Giants way. Okay, so what alternative does that leave us? Well, that leaves us the way that we had just learned, the uh, field dimension with bitmap. Okay, now I want to show you a few things uh, with, as far as that's concerned. Okay, so if you want to utilize that, and it is possible, that's basically what I'm trying to get at, is to tell you that it is possible to use that field dimension with bitmap with existing fields right alongside of them that have been done the giant's way. All right, so we got two options here. If you're gonna use the FS22 version, okay, what I recommend you do is you go to fields here, right? Go over to your scene graph, go to fields, highlight it, and I want you to export it. Just go up to file, just export selection, you know, find a spot, pick fields, save it, and that's it. All right, so this way, as you're experimenting and you're trying things out, and you're doing different things, all right, if you goof something up, all you got to do is just drag your fields right back into the project. You didn't lose anything. You don't have to start over. Um, even that I learned the hard way, right? <laughs> so learn from my mistakes, not your own, if you could all help it. All right, so what do we have here? We have fields one through 83. So I'm going to pick one of these fields here, one of these interesting looking fields. Now, up to this point, I went through and did exactly what we had done in this previous video was I added the field dimension script to this map. You know, I made up a, uh, a new GRLE. Uh, this one I put at 4096. I bumped up the resolution a little bit just because I wanted to play with some different numbers there and test the water, so to speak. Always testing myself, right? Trying to break things just to see, see what it takes to fix them, <laughs> All right? That's the best way to understand how something works, you know? You break it, break it on purpose, and then try to fix it. Alrighty. So anyhow, 
what I want to do here is, like I said, I want to keep all the original fields. So I have 82 of them. So I want to start at 83. I'm going to go to field dimensions over here. And I'm going to go down to field 83 because the way the script is set up, I have the capability of 255 fields. OK, uh, so let's try to utilize that and let's go right to field 83. All right. So normally what I would do is I would go up to uh, right here to my info layer paint mode. Oh, you can see I already even started painting it. Look at that. I saved myself some work. <laughs> oh, I love it when I can save some time. Right. All right, so basically what I want to do, like I said, I want to come through and I want to turn this whole thing here into a field. And from there, and this is the easy part, because like I said, doing this, you know, the Giants way, just forget it. Um, now don't pick on me if my lines are a little, you know, crooked and sloppy and what have you, because just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm, I'm just going to kind of speed through it so we can... Uh, so we can move on with things and, and not have an hour long video like the last one, right? We had a lot to learn though. And I'm, I'm really hoping that you guys learned a lot from that. I really do. Like I said, I, you know, I, I tried to get the point across in a way that, you know, you guys wouldn't have any issues and, and you would fully grasp what was going on there and, and be able to take that information and, and move it into other maps, bigger maps, different maps and not have a problem, you know, not have to Google things and look things up on YouTube. All right, so hopefully we achieve that. All right, so I have partially this field done here, okay? There's a little bit more left to do, but let's call that done for now, all right? So now that I did some field work, the first thing I want to do, like always, is save it, okay? Well, let's let that save. Now, I'm going to go up to my scripts. I want to have a look at the script there. Um, and when I show you what I did, so let's go to Window, Script Editor, okay? And here's my field dimension with bitmap. Now I'm working on a standard size map, right? So I kept my size at 1024 because that's my uh, my DEM size. All right, my field factor, since I jumped up to a GRLE of uh, 4096, I also jumped my field factor up to a four, which we do, right? And then when you do the math there, uh, the GRLE divided by the actual map size, which would have been 4096 divided by 2048, and that gave me two. Okay, so that's how I got my numbers there. And you guys should be pr pretty familiar with that if you had watched my last video, all right? So that's how I got this whole shebang working, okay? And I did test it, and, and it does work, all right? And I expect it as much because, you know, once you figure things out, it's a good feeling to get it right the first time, you know? I know when I was learning how to do this, and, and I would... Uh, <laughs> And I would start these fields and I was working with a new script trying to figure things out. And I fully expected, you know, when I would run that script that I didn't even know what to expect. I just the one thing I did not expect ever was for it to work. <laughs> right. I figured well, I'm going to have to fix something, man. It's going to take a while to figure out what's going on here. You know, I had the highest expectations like like I really, really hoped that it would work. But, you know, that was that was not usually the case, you know. So it took some time and, you know, just just breaking things down, breaking them on purpose, you know, and and just, you know, taking time with it and figuring it out, you know, not getting too flustered or frustrated, upset, that sort of thing. And just, you know, take my time, put the pieces back together. And, you know, over time, I figure things out. It's really not that complicated once you spend some time with it. OK, all righty. So we got this field here. We saved it. All right, so our next step would be to run the script. Now, this is where things are going to get a little bit interesting for us, okay? Uh, and, and the reason I say it's going to get interesting is because the new version of the script, uh, the FS22 version of this field dimensions with bitmap, it's, it's not really, it's not that it's not compatible, but it doesn't work well with existing fields that have been done the Giants way. All right, and I'm going to show you what happens here, okay? So we did save it. I'm going to go up to scripts, and I'm going to go down to my field dimensions with bitmap, and I'm going to run that. All righty, and you see what happened there. I am left with field 83, which is the field I just painted in, because remember, I wanted to start where they left off. And that's no bueno. OK, so I just deleted all my fields. I mean, all is not lost at this point, because remember what we did is we went over and we exported our fields. Right. So we can just drag those back in. All right. So we got our fields back for the most part. I'll drag this up top here. All right. And this field 83, I'm going to drag that into that folder. Delete that. 
All right, now I'm going to save it one more time, okay? Just because I made some changes there. I wanted to recognize, hopefully. All right, now I'm going to, I'll admit to you that I did not test this part of it. I just, I assume somewhere in my head, I thought it, it sounded good that this would work. Uh, so this hasn't been tested. So if I fall flat on my face with this, <laughs> this part of it, anyhow, yeah, I guess that's to be expected. All right. So let's try to talk, uh, render our field areas again. I might have to do this twice. So let me go to render field areas. Okay. So no, it did work. All right. So like I said, it sounded good in my head. I figured it might. All right. So there's option number one. Okay. So that was option number one to get all of our fields working to get all of our uh, our existing fields working alongside, you know, fields that we drew in with an info layer. OK, so that's option number one. <laughs> so we're making progress. Progress is good. Right. Very, very good. OK, so now the second thing we did here. Now, you, now remember that when I ran that script, it deleted those fields. OK, I want you to keep that in mind. All right. So now if you recall when in the video, the first video that we did here for the for you know the fields making fields the faster and easier way right the field dimensions with bitmap do you remember we went over to the website there we went over to a ls mod company here right and we downloaded this script here okay now you remember i told you that there was an ls19 an fs19 version right so if you scroll down here a little bit you got farming simulator 19 right uh click on script collection and then we had a, uh, oops, for some reason, you got to watch their nag screens there. Like I clearly have my advertising shut off, but yet it comes up all the time. All right. And then you can see that we have the field dimensions with bitmap there. Okay. Now this version of the bit of the uh, field dimensions with bitmap uh, works a little bit differently. Okay. Now the, the FS 22 version was modified. It's got some improvements in there. But there's some key differences that I noticed, okay? So you can see all my fields here, right? Let me go up and turn my maps back off, okay? So I'm going to turn my fields off, I'm sorry. All righty. So I'm going to go down bottom here again, and I'm going to delete field 83, because that was the newest field that we put in, all right? And let's save it. Make sure that saves okay. Oh, I don't want to look at that. Alrighty, so let's go back up top. Let's go to fields. All right, so I'm going to run the script again, except this time I'm going to run the FS19 version. Okay, so I have an FS19 version, but before I do that, let's go into the script editor. All right, and I'm going to go to that version. Now that version, if you look at the FS22 version, we have a field factor there. Okay, we're missing that on the uh, on the FS19 version. Okay, uh, so for mine bits, obviously I kept them. The way they were supposed to be, it's an 8-bit, no need to touch that. Um, my size, the map size, 1024, that's my DEM, that doesn't change, that's day 1024. And then the uh, factor for bigger bigger GRLEs, all I did was use my rule of thumb, right? Remember, it's it's 1 for a 1024, 2 for a 2048, and 4 for a 4096. Okay, well, the GRLE I'm using today is a 4096, so I put 4 in there. All right, and I'm not sure if I tested this one or not. Um, if I did, it worked. It, it must be because I I try not to shoot videos when there's a likelihood that th <laughs> things are going to break. <laughs> Humorous sometimes, but it can also amount to a waste of time. All right, so uh, anyhow, what I did is, is I didn't have any problems with it the first time around. Okay, I put all my numbers in there the way that I thought they should be in a work first time and and I, I tried not to, to hurt myself patting myself on the back. <laughs> okay. All right. So anyhow, like I said, we're going to highlight fields there. I'm going to go back up the scripts, except this time I'm going to pick the old version, the FS19 version of field dimensions with bitmap. Let that run. Okay. So it's a good thing there that you didn't see all my fields disappear. That's that's a really good thing. Okay. And then we go down bottom and there you can see that I have a field 83. That's that's good to see. Very good to see. All right, let's go back up the scripts, highlight our fields, okay? Render field areas. All right, there you go. All right, so those were the differences that, that I wanted to point out, the immediate differences that I wanted to point out, okay? So the FS22, uh, while it runs a little bit more efficiently, it creates less corners. 
uh, like I said, the uh, FS22 version, it's definitely, it's an outstanding script, uh, but you will need to export your existing fields and then re-import them, you know, once you're done creating your fields via bitmap, okay? Um, that's the way you're going to have to do it with the FS22 version. If you decide that you want to go over to the uh, FS19 version, you can just kind of run them all together, okay? It'll, it'll recognize both, which is great. You know, that's how, that's how I did the Elm Creek extension is I ended up using the older version only because I was constantly making changes to my fields and, you know, adding things here and touching things up there. And it got to be a real pain in the you know what to have to keep re-importing my old fields. OK, uh, not that it was the end of the world because I really wasn't doing anything with them anyhow. You know, I could have waited till I was 100 percent done, ready to publish, just re-import them in. And I would have been good to go. All right, so looking over here at field 83, I just want to have a peek in there, and I want to see how many corners it generated out of curiosity. All right, so let's see what we got there. Oh, yeah, look at that. So we got 449 corners, 449, okay? So now out of curiosity, again, curiosity killed the cat. This is, this is how we learn things, all right? I'm going to run it again, and, and I'm going to run it with the... Uh, FS22 version. Now I know it's going to delete the rest of my fields, but I really want to see how many corners it generates. All right, so let's go up to script and let's go to FS22 version. Okay, let's run that. Okay, field 83. And what was that? 449, did I say? All right, so 449. And down to 323. All right. So it's not a whopping difference. You know, it's not like, you know, they crushed it on that one, but it's definitely an improvement. All right. E even a tiny improvement, it's still an improvement. All righty. So that's basically all I wanted to go over. You know, I'm not going to drag this video out much longer. Um, so, so keep that in mind when you're working with existing fields, right? When you're using the info layer and the scripting tool to do these fields, all right, so there are some things that you need to be conscious of, and there's there's things, you need to do things a certain way so you don't learn any hard lessons here, okay? All right, so hopefully made that, that made sense to everybody, all right? And uh, like I said, as always, you know, if you find these videos helpful, uh, you know, please considering, you know, leaving a like and subscribe and, and all that good stuff. And with that being said, I am Bauer Brown, and I will see you on the next one.